Hi sweets and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna use a couple of products from Rose Ink. Rose Ink is owned by Rose Huntington. She's a supermodel, has two kids also, and she has her hands all over the place, meaning that besides having this skincare and makeup brand, and she released um, three more products, lipsticks, highlighters, and bronzer, which I don't have. The other businesses that she has are I think there are shoes and clothing, and as it may be, but don't quote me on that, I think that's some home goods. But I'm pretty sure about the shoes, about the clothing, and obviously the makeup brand that also has skincare, and I think if I'm not mistaken, she started with skincare. I have a couple of products from that her skincare line and also they sent me a samples with my order let's just show you which are the products and why they are a little bit different for what we are used to with the order that i got she has a lot of sets and she has good 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 sales also so if you're going or you're interested in getting anything from her brand try to wait until there is a sale or buying a set because you will get your money's worth. And with that said, I got this Rose Ink Hydration Replenish. This is a micro encapsulated moisturizer. I like the aesthetic that she has in her brand. This is the component and this is the product itself. I already did my morning routine. It was almost an hour, a lot, an hour and a little bit more. I'm going to rehydrate my skin this feels like water as soon as the little micro beads that it has break it feels just like water when you keep them rubbing it into your skin that's when it turns like a typical moisturizer also this sample this is the radiant reveal brightening serum i'm gonna use this just to give a little bit like a radiance to the foundation. This is the actual product. I'm going to just apply it. This one has a scent. The first one that I applied, it didn't have any scent that I could get a whiff of, but this one, yes. Oh, and yes, look at my face, the luminosity that I have in my complexion. From this product and hey I like that one he also sent another sample this is the blush divine the one that I have is this one and it's the one that I'm going to use as a layer but they also have I think they are around six at this time this other two colors this one is named anemone which it is a peach shade that I would very very into and the one the last one is dahlia and dahlia it looks promising because it looks kind of a terracotta shade that hey, i would love that another thing that is good from this brand it is that everything is refillable so you just buy the first time the component and then you just buy the refill so one of the sets that i bought came with this two this three products. This is the one that I started with. This is the Hydration Replenished. This is the Tinted Serum Foundation, which, which the proper name is Skin Enhanced Luminous Tinted Serum. I ordered it in the shade 090, which is rose shade also. And it came with the brush for the Tinted Serum, which is number three foundation brush. This is the tinted serum. This is why I said that it is different for what we are used to. I think Chanel is the first brand that I know of that has this kind of technology in their products. And I think that, uh, I don't know, like a month ago, they released another one in this type of formulation. I'm going to take two pumps of this. I'm going to break the spheres with the brush and I'm going to coat the bristles also with a product. And now first, I'm going to stamp it in the places where I want a little bit more coverage, which I won't get because this is a tinted serum. 
This is just about evening out the skin. And see, that's the color that I would get. And now I'm going to just blend it into my complexion. As you can see, first I stamp it in the places where I want a little bit more coverage and then in the perimeter of my face, I'm blending. Stamping. So this is how my complexion looks so far. You can see my freckles, you can see my sunspots, you can see everything, but the main thing is that I have an even out complexion. My skin tone is perfect and I really like the luminosity. Obviously, I'm going to set it. I live in a tropical island. I can get out of my house without setting this because if not, it's going to just melt right up my face, but it's not as tacky as you may think it is because of the luminosity that you can see in my complexion. Since I have the blush already in my hand, this is the Azalea, this is the lip and cheek color. So I'm going to apply it and I'm gonna use the same brush that I use for my foundation. I've already tried this and it has a lot of pigment. So that's why I'm just, I'm being stingy in a way. That's a lot. Now I'm gonna go for the concealer. The concealer I've already tried and I like it so, so much. It is more full coverage, but it is hydrating at the same time. This is the component. It keeps with the aesthetic of the brand. And this is the brush that the brand sells for applying the concealer. This is the number one brush. It has a big doe foot applicator. I'm going to start with the sides of my nose, pressing now the sides here of my eyes. And it's really, really easy to blend. There. And now I'm going to go for one of my problematic areas, which is this crevice here of my eye. There. This is my complexion with all the products that I have from Rose Ink. It is a very natural looking. I like that as a personal preference. Now I'm going to set my complexion. I totally forgot that I also have uh, this brow mascara. Uh, the name is Eyebrow Gel in the shade Fill 01, which it doesn't have any color at all. I'm just going to comb it through my eyebrows. I have thick eyebrows. I just need a product that can make them stay exactly where I want them. At least you feel the product being applied personal preference in gel brows or eyebrow mascara as you want to may call it it is to have hold in them not just to a nice thing to make them behave I need hold now indeed I have used everything that I have from the rose ink brand I'm going to do a eye look and then we are gonna come back to recap but this is how we are looking at the moment, I really like the luminosity that I have in my complexion. I didn't apply any highlighter at all. So this is what we are having now. The recap is that I have been wearing this for almost, I think, two hours, two hours and a half. And by the way, it is 
raining cats and dogs outside it's really windy so you're gonna hear that in the background i can't do nothing about that it's just the weather it is nature so yeah we have to deal with it so besides the weather and the climate i love how my complexion is looking i'm not greasy i'm not nothing this is just the luminosity that i got with the radiance with the radiant reveal brightening serum really really nice every time that i turn my face i see that luminosity i'm not sticky i'm not greasy yes i said my complexion but it wasn't like a lot of powder products that i use besides the rosy they work really really nice i use from beauty bakery the setting powder that for my under eye i use the light reflecting press version setting powder it worked like a charm and for bronzer which was the other complexion product that i didn't use from rosie it is from hmn this is the deep bronze that's the, that's the shade and the name of the product it is solar flare bronzing powder it is a matte powder but it has specks of let's just say shimmer but it doesn't show on the complexion when you apply it so it's a matte and it worked really really nice on the complexion as you can see i apply a little bit of more blush because it wasn't enough and i applied it on top of a already set complexion and it worked beautifully it didn't lift anything it didn't move anything so i'm extremely extremely happy with this first remember that i my skin type is a normal skin type so Technically, I can use anything in my complexion and I use two hydrating products underneath the tinted serum and also I do like this kind of coverage. I'm not into medium or full coverage. I am into a sheer light and maybe a medium light coverage. So for me, this is enough. This is plenty. I'm more than happy and confident with how my complexion works. So sweet, if you did like it, please press the like button. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. I really appreciate it. And if you want to get notified every time I upload a video, press the notification bell. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.